Hello and welcome to Learns Academy. In this video tutorial, I will try to cover the basics of XP. There are many things that can be done with an XP. However, I will try to go through the most common usage of the XP. XP is a wireless microcontroller used to communicate wirelessly between devices. It consists of 20 pins and an antenna, depending on the version. It has 11 digital pins and 4 analog pins. Refer to your device specifications for more details. The XP pins are too small for a breadboard and it usually uses 33 volt, so it is very recommended to get an adapter kit. Now let's talk about how the XPs are networked. One is called a coordinator. It is required in every network. Its role is to set up the network and it can never sleep. The next ones are called routers. You can have multiple routers in the network and they can relay signals from other routers and endpoints and they can never sleep. Last ones are called endpoints. You can have multiple endpoints. They cannot relay signals and they can sleep to save some power. By creating your XP project, you will have to decide on what kind of device the XP will be. There are two modes the XP can be in, AT and API. Now let's set up the XP. In order to do it, we need to connect it to a computer. You can use an FTDI cable or use your Arduino. To do it with the Arduino, connect the reset pin to the ground pin. Then connect RX pin from the Arduino to the RX pin on the XB and TX pin to TX pin. This will completely bypass the chip allowing you to use the XB. Now let's download the software. DG created a program called XCTU that will allow you to set up your XP. Install and load up the software. Plug your XP to your computer. Click on add a radio module and choose the port your XB is connected to, then click finish. You will see your XB on the left list of the software. Choose it and proceed to the updates. Let's take a look at some of the settings. First, the PAN ID. This is the personal area network. You can set it to whatever you want, but make sure all the XPs share the same PAN ID, otherwise they won't be able to communicate. The destination address. If you want to communicate with just one XP, you can put a serial number in here, both the high and low. If the value is zero, it will send a broadcast to all devices on the network. If you make it all zeros, it will send a broadcast to the coordinator. Another feature here is under IO settings. If you click on one of these, you can choose whatever pin should be analog or digital input or you can set it to be low or high. Now let's make a simple chat program. We will have two XPs connected via serial to a computer. One is the coordinator and the other one is an endpoint. And we will broadcast a message and see if we receive it. Plug both XBs and add them as we did earlier. Make sure to have the same PAN ID. Configure one to be the coordinator and the other one to be an end device.
Now let's open the terminal. Open serial connection and broadcast a message. We can see here that the end device received the message. This concludes our video about the basics of FB. If you are interested in a more detailed lesson, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to receive our newest videos and click on the link below to watch our previous tutorials. Thank you.